What's up YouTubers? This is a review of a golf ball that Callaway just introduced it's called the Hex Chrome. This is a mid-range ball, about $35 for a box. It's a three-piece golf ball. It comes in this, of course, this yellow and white. Uh, I like the yellow. Easier to see on the course and it looks pretty cool playing with and I just like to be different on the golf course. So playing with more of the yellow type golf balls. Uh, this golf ball came out just a few months ago in the yellow version. I'm not sure how long the white version has been out, but it's a newer golf ball for Callaway. Uh, Three-piece golf ball. It's a firm co cover to it. And here's a good look at the... Put it down. Good look at the yellow. It's not a sparkly yellow. It's more just of a plain yellow. So it's different than the Strixon or the E6 Bridgestone uh, versions of their yellow golf balls that have more of a sparkle green tint to it. This is just straight yellow. Golf ball itself is pretty self-explanatory. You can see the, the hex dimples there that Callaway uses. Uh, red numbering. And then, of course, they always have now hex chrome so for alignment with putting. Now the one on the left is one that I played at least one or two rounds with and you can see scuff marks but nothing cut on the golf ball. So golf ball does a pretty good job. Uh, not as good, not as durable as the E6 or the Strixons, uh, those send, tend to not get as scuffed as easy as these Callaways. But uh, I really like this golf ball. I hit the golf ball pretty high. Um, this levels levels it off a little bit. Golf ball is easy to work from left to right if you need to. Uh, it does spin, of course, not as much as say a Tireless Pro V1 or uh, a TaylorMade T uh, Penta Five. Won't spin like those. Those are uh, a lot of those are like a Pinta Five is almost as a five-piece golf ball now. Uh, but it does spin, and I'm not the biggest spinner of golf balls, but I do put some spin on it, uh, especially 100 and 120 yards out. You can put a pretty decent amount of spin on it. As you get up closer to chipping, it's a little harder to spin than the, say a Titleist, and that's where a Titleist would do a little better. Uh, so you have to do a little more bump and runs, but it will spin on chipping and pitches. Putting, uh, it's a firm golf ball, so if you don't like a marshmallow feel, uh, something that's a little more firm, this is the golf ball you would like. Uh, and that's what it feels like on everything. Driver, um, irons, it feels very firm when you hit it. Uh, overall, great golf ball, uh, great price point, and... Uh, for a mid-range ball and so you save a few bucks playing the ball and I think you could play one ball for two or three rounds and if you, the scuffs don't bother you then you could probably play it for much longer so enjoy this golf ball, this golf ball that I will predominantly be using through 2013 and um, hopefully Calorie will keep this out a while, usually golf balls every two years now they're coming out with new ones so I'll uh, probably be buying a few more of these but uh, if you like yellow and you want a premium ball and at a premium price, uh, save a few dollars, then this is the golf ball for you. Hope you enjoyed the review. If you have any comments or questions, leave them and I'll check you guys out.